uh, Savage Grace tells a story of the, the main character for the bulk of the film is Barbara Daly, who becomes Barbara Daly Bakeland. She's an Irish Catholic girl from the wrong side of the tracks who meets and marries the wealthy heir to the Bakelite fortune. Um, she's swept into a kind of very privileged life. They have one child, Tony, who's played by Eddie Redmayne. With Savage Grace, why in many ways it was a kind of actor's dream is because of the resource that you have, which is this book, which is a non-fiction book in, in the sense that it's psychological reports and photographs. There was a photograph um, in the book of Tony at age 11, but in our in the movie is 12, in the bathtub. That scene where Tony's taking a bath, and there's this kind of electrifying photograph of, Eddie describes it brilliantly, it's this, you know, this kind of insouciant look on this kid's face, looking directly at camera, he's naked, his legs are crossed, it's obvious Barbara's taking the picture. And, you know, the photograph's tender and sweet, but also sort of utterly chilling, because you think, you know, what mother is taking a photograph for a kid at that age in the tub? It's, uh, it's, uh, it's this idea of a claustrophobia of two people that, through circumstance, have become entirely reliant on each other, and certainly a lady who is, who is left, basically had power through sex throughout her life, and that's the way she knows how to communicate. The bulk of the film is sort of film about the triangle of this, you know, mother, father, and relationship with the son. The father leaves the, the wife, and the film then becomes really about the relationship between the mother and the son, and it's ultimately about Barbara's sort of rise and fall in society and about the kind of deepening psychological, emotional bond between the two of them and, and the kind of claustrophobia of that bond. I'm interested in uh, particularly the idea of folie à deux, the idea of shared madness, symbi symbiotic relationships where a combustion happens between two people, where two people come together and the, the result of those two people leads to something that would not happen were either of them left alone. I really do relate this story and the more I actually reread the book the other day and remembered this highlighted moment in which Sylvie, which is the Blanca character, the true character that, that Brooks ran off with, describes how um, Barbara and Brooks' relationship was like an Edward Albee relationship. It's literally like it was playing, it was embarrassing each other, humiliation, antagonism in front of people as part of a showmanship, as part of a like a, 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 a sexual desire in some ways. And I feel that that, in some ways, Julie, and, and then of course Tony joined in with that when he became of age in some ways. And I feel like that antagonism was in some ways best played in film in not talking about it too right. much. And also playing with it. I mean, you played with it a lot of different ways and of, of dealing with different scenes. Takes changed a lot. I mean, it, it, what Eddie's, Eddie's saying is very true, is that the three different actors worked differently. Um, I spent a lot of time with all of them before shooting because of logistics physically. I was in New York, Julianne was shooting a movie, Eddie and Stephen were both in London or traveling wherever they were. So pictures, the book, conversations over the internet, and sort of trying to shed some light without being too intellectually analytical and also to give freedom to just discover and find something I, I don't know about or to be inside that character in a way that I'm not going to understand it. I have, for whatever it says about me, enormous empathy for all three of the characters of this film. I care about them, actually. I, I got to know them in the way that you do. I think, I mean, Julianne's been interesting in this because a lot of journalists have asked her, what did you identify with in playing this role? And she laughs and says, nothing. Of course, I'm a mother, I have a son and a daughter, I mean, none of it. But that doesn't mean as an actor you can't bring it empathy. And I think that, you know, that's what was so exciting. The movies, Eddie, Julianne, and Stephen all brought enormous empathy to characters and chose not to judge them, to find the small pieces of behavior that stood in for the larger emotional or psychological gestures that were going inside the character. Um, and I think that there's a, the audience should be given credit in a way in terms of who they can go along with.